Um, let's see. Maximize this. Gameplay. And there's our Minecraft. Oh, um, it's nighttime. I, I had a list of things that I wanted to do to the house. which would like me to know that I'm live again. Right, so here's the document that had our uh, notes. Okay, uh, most of this is about getting stuff from back at the other base. So I guess it's rocket time what's this box yeah that can stay Uh, flying too fast on a server can cause problems. You'll sometimes just lose your momentum and pick up gliding as though you had just started. Let's see. I think we want to be a little more this way. There's our base. Let's wait for it to exist so that we can land on it and get some stuff. Ooh, things are chugging. <clears throat> There's the floor. Great. Okay. So, things that I wanted. I wanted andesite. I wanted regular stone. Uh, I guess I should... Oh, I'm really low on these. Uh, I guess I should cram all this stuff in a shulker box so that I have room to pick up other stuff. Uh, not this. Um, I should grab some rockets. And I have... Right. I need some birch trap doors and spruce trap doors. Do I have any already made? Looks like I don't. So, spruce. Oh, we are very low on spruce. What about birch? We are very low on birch. Let's go chop some spruce and birch. Um, That's there, that's there. 
berry bushes and brick. Let's grab those things. Berries are raw food. We'll grab this partial stack. Where is my brick? It's not something I use very often. Uh, bricks. Um, I don't know how many we'll need. Probably not anywhere near this much. We can always bring the excess home. Right. And now to retrieve some things from our tree farm. Which we have completely overshot but we'll just glide down. It'll be fine. Yeah, we have durability on our elytra. Yeah, this is a, a very manual kind of a tree farm because the TNT kind, I do have one that's partially constructed, but uh, this server is a little bit unstable in a way that makes most redstone shenanigans fine. But uh, TNT-based shenanigans are slightly dangerous. Um, so even though we used TNT to clear out that huge chunk of nether for the wither skeleton farm, using it in the confines of the base uh, has not been successful. I think a stack and change is plenty. Um, I can replant these some other time. Let's go to the spruce farm. Do you like my little bridges that I made between islands? Alright, here's some spruce. Gonna spiral up one of the big ones and then chop my way down. And we'll see how that does us for a spruce supply since I really only need spruce for making like trap doors. I might get a little extra though uh, and use that for making barrels because uh, I do have on my list that I want barrels and I don't really want to waste dark oak logs on crafting sticks and planks for barrels. Just seems like a waste. There we go. That's 67. I'm going to do a second tree. And I think that will supply what we need supplied. I don't know why I always crane my neck to look up when I'm looking up in Minecraft, but I do, and it doesn't actually let me see any better, and it hurts my neck, so, you know, win-win. Here's the top. Let's position at the center again and begin our spiral down. 
Whoops. There we go. Gonna double check the list so we don't have to fly back and forth a whole lot of extra times. Path, berry bushes. Oh, flower pot. Yep. Oh, and you know what? I might grab just like a stack of smooth quartz. Um, just in case I wanna use it for any details. Like maybe I could use it to make a kitchen sink. If I used a couple of stairs, I should bring some buckets. All right, so smooth quartz, buckets, flower pots. Uh, I don't know whether I have flower pots or not, so I'm just gonna make them right here. Boom, flower pots, 21 of them. And then, wait, is my quartz over here? That's regular quartz. Well, the quartz I was gonna need was specifically stair blocks, so pre-made. Awesome. Um, quartz. Okay. I believe, nope, that's the way down. We want the way up to get a little head start on our gliding height and maybe save ourselves one or two rockets. Oh, and let's remind ourselves of the cabin coordinates. Negative 1670 by negative 702. All right, so we're currently probably gonna wanna head about like this. The uh, Elytra gliding in Minecraft is really nice. Um, it got introduced during a time period when I wasn't really playing Minecraft, so I kind of missed that intro of it, but I really like it. Um, oh, there it is. I was starting to think we had gone past it or something. But here's our cabin. Don't need that. And let's get some daylight. And lay down some of these shulker boxes that we brought. So I was thinking for the chimney that we could do big blocks of polished andesite and then maybe mix in the occasional bit of raw andesite for color. So I think for that I want to I fly up onto the roof. What I should have brought that I forgot to bring is scaffolding. Scaffolding would have been the winning maneuver here. Um, oh, and a campfire. I wanted that for the fireplace. Did not remember it. But that, that should be easy enough to collect materials for. Um, there was a sign here. Um. 
Hmm. I think I wanted blackstone wall there. Can I make wall out of polished andesite? No. But I can make it out of regular andesite. And then let's make some polished andesite stairs. Uh, and I want like one slab. Um, right. Hmm, that's all right. So we're just doing a little bit of texture with that um, regular andesite block so that it's not one smooth thing all the way up because this is a rustic cabin not not one of your fancy city dwelling cabins and we'll go up 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 and we're actually I also forgot that I wanted like one iron bar and I also forgot to grab words iron bar fire bucket I was gonna bring a bucket for water and I didn't Um, I should have in my end chest iron. I can get both of those things. So let's do that now. I might actually already have a bucket of water in here. Nope. Oh, but I do have a furnace, which I'm going to need if we're going to make a couple of campfires. Whatever. Is that going to cover both, or am I going to need to refuel halfway? Turn that into sticks, turn sticks and logs into a pair of campfires. Have a nice fire in our fireplace. Excellent. Um, don't need these anymore, so let's clear up some space by getting rid of them. What was I doing? I was getting iron. Okay. Um, put that away. Beacon kit has iron in it. Normally it's for making beacons, but we don't need that right now. We need one set of iron bars and one bucket. 
and then that can go back in the end chest so that we don't lose it. Oh, I just remembered something else we need for the top there. I want um, eight and polished andesite slabs. Uh, one, two, and then get that and that. Get rid of that. Um, and a little bit of dirt scaffolding. Oops. Yeah. So we put that there, and then the smoke from our fireplace is gonna get. All right, without the hay bale, the smoke does not go very high. So we're gonna actually sneak a second campfire right down there so we get a nice smoky chimney effect and then we replace these with bottom slabs so we go don't get uh, mobs spawning on top of the chimney because it would be silly to make this whole roof spawn proof and then just allow where where's this There we go. Okay, so uh, our birch. We brought a bunch of birch. We had a reason for it. I want to see how it would look to replace our shutters, the dark oak shutters, with birch. I think, I think it would pop a lot better. And I was also planning to make our flower boxes with spruce trap doors. That's way less of those than I <laughs> expected. Don't know why. Um, so if we that the thing I like about the spruce for the flower box uh, first the color being a little more different from our wall kind of differentiates it in a nice way um, and then also the spruce trapdoor has that kind of iron banding like you'd see on the side of a barrel and I like the way you can line them up so that it looks like this flower box is being held together by those iron bands, um, keeping the, the wooden slats from uh, bowing. So, oh, uh, let's, let's get some daylight here. And also, while I'm thinking about it, um, let's get an aerial view of the house with the chimney. Oh, that, yeah. That is so much better than the dirt was. Uh, but also, I like it. It's enough of a different color. <clears throat> that it adds a lot of uh, visual interest. Right. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. 
so I'm thinking we just make uh, make the rest of them. Change it over. I don't want to waste these dark oak trapdoors because dark oak is one of the more annoying woods to get. Um, but that said, I don't know that we're going to be bringing those dark oak trapdoors back into this build anywhere. Because our, our problem with them was that they're too similar in color to what <clears throat> the... <clears throat> they're too similar in color to the base wall that we're using. <clears throat> oh, was I going to do this on the opposite side? <clears throat> I mean, it seems like I should do it on both sides if I'm going to do it. So let's grab some of these while we're going around places. So this, yeah, that cuts right through. Oh, the back wall just doesn't have that beam. And it would ruin our bay window to add it in. Guess we're not going to. Okay. Uh, get rid of these. Uh, I think we might have to sneak our way up here in order to uh, fix the the ones that need to be birch. Ah! I'm very skilled at Minecraft. Oh, we don't have them on us. Flowers for the window box. And Algernon too while we're at it. Spruce ones. And pick up our debris. And also, I'm hungry again. I think it's because we're in run mode. Yeah. I don't like that piece of dirt being dirt. The grass I like, but I think I'd rather have the dirt be not. Oh, and same here. Yeah, that I, I like the block with the grass on the top much better. Whoops.
you know what? Let's uh, let's pillar up instead of just making mistakes. More mistakes. Whoops. And this side we can reach no problem. All right, and let's, oh, uh, we gotta do those. Let's just go inside and take out the window. Oh, our inventory is so full of junk. Now that is all of our windows finished. So let's put away some of this uh, garbage that we wound up carrying. Oh, we filled this box. Um, And we filled that box. Okay, so yeah, that's that's a much brighter. It's not as dour. It's still mostly dominated by the dark oak, but we get. A little more interest. Now this wall here, I'm looking at this area up here and I'm thinking something should go here. Because it's too, it's too wide and unbroken. Let's take a peek at what's going on in there from the inside and see if that sparks any ideas. Also, I, I didn't end up needing these bricks at all. They were going to be an alternative <clears throat> if I didn't like the way the andesite was looking, but I like how the andesite was looking. I do not want to use these bricks. Yeah, so it's pretty plain and boring in here, too. Hmm. Let's see. change the shape of the wall. I definitely don't want to add like a third floor here unless I could add a ladder. I could add a ladder and then is that enough to make sticks with? Ah, right, that's plenty of ladder. Okay, so we do a ladder. Do we have a bunch of 
dark oak slabs already? We do. Let's grab our glass panes and our various trapdoors and take a little nap. So I'm thinking we put the ladder right here. And then bring that across all the way to the edge like that. And we've got like a, a little crawl space attic. And then we can make like a little ventilation window up here. Right up under the eaves. I hope that lantern wasn't vital. No, it wouldn't be. There's ground level lanterns right there. Okay, so I'm thinking what we'll do is put stairs, stairs and stairs upside down. We're gonna have to go make some of those or find some. We might have some dark oak stairs already made and we only need two. So I'm gonna do stairs and stairs to frame it. Ah, here we go. Two dark oak stairs. back up to this crawl space here, pop it like that and that, so that it can breathe. No mobs can get through that space, so it's, it's safe. We're not providing like an access to our house here. Um, let's head over to this side and look and see if that's improved things. I mean, it's better. It's going to be good enough for now. Um, sometimes with detail work on a building, you just need to have some space away from it. Um, So I'm thinking about where do I want the kitchen to go? And my first instinct would be right near the fireplace, but because I also put the stairs up and down right by the fireplace, it creates some logistical difficulties to do anything really on this side of the room. Um, I think, I think maybe I'll put some chairs facing the fireplace. Do a chair here and a chair here. Is that too close to the fire? I think I'm going to push it back a little bit. Yeah, so a chair here and a chair here. 
and a chair here. And then let's do birch signs. So we'll need... Oh, did I turn all of our birch into trapdoors? I really did. Really did. I need like one birch. Okay, there's... There's birch out here. I don't need to fly home for it. I'm not going to bother replanting that. Uh, while we're down here, let's get some water. Alright, give us that. So we get ourselves some birch signs. And now our chairs have armrests and they look a little more cozy. Oh, I can't do it right there. All right, so it's gonna be a little more kitty cornered than I was intending. But that's fine. Yeah, we got this little gap to walk through. So we can sit in one of our chairs, warm up by the fire. Yeah, nice, nice little time in the fire nook. Don't want to put a carpet there because it would, if it was a real house and a real fire, it would catch fire. I do want to put carpet in this building though. Um, various places because it'll break up the floors a little bit and add a little extra visual interest pops of color the the asymmetry here um, like I could make it more symmetrical but I think the asymmetry fits with like it's been here for a while and it moved, drifted over time. Uh, we also don't want carpet right in the breakfast nook because food's gonna be here, but maybe we throw down a bit of a throw rug uh, right here. Oh, how are our light levels? Okay, that's good. There's no spawns. Uh, I bet... I bet we could hang some of these lanterns from... Oh, we can't because we used half slabs. But maybe there's a lip. So if we grab some more of our dark oak half slabs. Are we out of those? It looks like we are. So let's make some more. Okay, so if we run that along then we can use that to hang some of these and then okay this corner is a problem unless we drop that down and we can bring that across and now it looks structural and we can replicate it on the other side 
Oh man, that that whole underside just got significantly more visually interesting, and we solved a lighting problem. Whoops, that's what I wanted to add there. So, yeah, that takes care of that. <clears throat> this is still on the floor, which I don't love. Hmm. Oh, that, that's some lighting. Uh, let's sleep again. So I think at this point, our kitchen stuff has to go here. So do all of that. Find it. No, it's And then, oh, and here's where we can bring back our, whoops, our dark oak trap doors. Because I don't want that. Um, so what I really want right now is cobblestone, but the pickaxe I'm holding is a uh, silk touch. Yeah, okay. Grab this pickaxe, and I'm gonna also need... It'd be better to have more than two torches, but... All right. Mm, let's get like 16 cobblestone. And then we'll take two of these And fill in this space like we were never there. All right, give me two furnaces. And now give me one smoker. Yeah, I'm not sure what this looks like, but it is an actual working stove, so I'm going to count that as a win. Uh, and then I can waterlog these two stairs to look like our sink has water in it. Um, and then I can use a lever, and that'll look like a, a faucet, the taps, although it will be sparkling red. Hmm, it's a little low. And that's a little high. All right, maybe I dig back into the iron supply to make a 
tripwire hook. These have specific homes, and they were not remembering them. Okay, um, get rid of that. There we go. That is going to be our tap. And so we've got a little cooking area, we've got our eating area. I might want to do like a little kitchen island opposite the sink. Um, to break up this space a little more. What material would we make that out of? What materials do we have on hand? Oh, you know what? There's all that granite in the basement. Let's, uh, let's take a little of it and use it to make a granite countertop. Is it really that surface level? Is that where I put it in manually? I want... Got rid of all the dirt again. Give me a stack of dirt. Stack of dirt. There we go. Stack of dirt. And then we'll refill that. And that leaves us with a couple of granite. So I think we'll do that opposite the entire kitchen sink area. And then, you know, we're going to polish it. Yeah, that, that looks more countertoppy. And then we give it these. And I feel like the, the chocolate bar kind of things almost seems like those could be drawers, which would be appropriate for a kitchen island. I'm trying to think if there's any decent block or object that I could stick on here to look like kind of a knife or a cutting board situation. What if we did the lever here? Is that knife, knife in a knife block to anyone? Well, if we say it looks like that, uh, eventually we'll think of it. I don't like that it's pointing directly at the faucet though. Now it's not, that's better. So th this space is getting a little bit cozier already. And I think our next thing that we're going to add is, can we, it kind of overlaps the seat more than I want. I would, I do want to put flower pots somewhere. Bookshelves. I was going to get bookshelves and I didn't. Well, <laughs> uh, I guess at some point there will have to be at least one more trip back and forth. Uh, but now it is very close to my bedtime as, uh, as a very old person, I go to sleep pretty early. 
Um, so thanks for joining us, uh, either for both the Kerbal and the Minecraft, or just the Minecraft. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Bye.